Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Planet Crafter Season 5. We're, uh, this is the Sand Falls. I brought a, uh, a little hut out here. Uh, I did pick up the stuff from the Iridium Cave, but that's just because I was on my way here at the time. Uh, I think... Uh, no, I get it wrong every time. <laughs> I think we need the the box out of this cave. But yeah, we definitely need that and that. And I'll take that and those two things and definitely that. <laughs> I need this whole box. I'll have to come back for it because I need uh, to get some super alloy. We are uh, waiting uh, somewhat impatiently for the bio lab to kick up. And... Uh, I was going to be patient, <laughs> and then I decided, no, I'll shoot this in-between stuff, because, uh, you know, this in-between stuff does exist, and uh, so in case you didn't notice, this is uh, another location for Super Alloy. Uh, we still, I don't think, I uh, don't remember, I'm not even going to say it out loud, because I might be wrong. Oh, my inventory's full. Dang it! Oh, <laughs> trust me, I can get lost in the sand falls. I could get lost anywhere. <laughs> just uh, didn't even pick up iron. Okay, so we'll just take all that stuff home and uh, see where we're at. So if you look in the upper right uh, corner, we're at 5.74 uh, MTI. That's our terraformation index. We need to come back here immediately. We're going to be doing quite a bit here. Uh, over the uh, next half hour because there's some things that I need to get a hold of. I can, uh, in fact, turn the music back up. Uh, heard back from Moose. There was uh, no problem with the music. The in-game music. The, uh, the only problem was the trailer music uh, came back with um, a uh, copyright on it. Oh, there's just still tons and tons of iridium in here and that little lag spike and frog bonds sorry <laughs> I had a moment that's probably got a little more iridium in it now but we need to build up some storage and uh, we need to build up part of the base we can build that Except that I just put in that second grass spreader. I kept thinking I need that, uh, uh, what's it called? Lerma. And then I forgot. This is just junk that I picked up. Uh, yeah, there's some more of that. These things don't go together. I'm just out of room already. Um, maybe that'll fit in there. I can put that in there. Uh, yeah, that's really important. Did I have more? Um, I do, so we can put that in there. Here's another one of those. And those two will fit. Okay, now I've got room for iron. And uh, this is always a bit of a mess, uh, this part of the game. Uh, so we're just going to dump all of that, take back our water. Oh, we're thirsty. Take that back, and then we're going to go back uh, to the sulfur fields and get more stuff. But uh, we'll look at this first in biomass. Biolab is at 865 grams. It's not moving up very quickly, and that's why I put in the grass spreader. But I must have completely forgotten that I have the ability to build this, which doesn't give us any biomass. So maybe we'll hold off until I'm actually ready to build it. Um, I have a flower spreader, though. Oh, I've got a... I've actually got a... one of those. And then we need a magnesium and a super alloy... 
Where did I put it? Right here. Here we go. The water and uh, one of the flowers. So, oh, I never even put anything in that flower spreader. So, <laughs> never did. Like, from the beginning, two episodes ago, or whatever it was. Alright, we'll grab that. Uh, okay, flower spreader. That should help a little bit. And uh, we'll just... We're going to put this, like, way out of our way. There goes the power. <laughs> Alright, we'll fix the power in just a second. Hang on here. There's the bio lab. Alright, hold on. Okay, now we can uh, make an explosive. Yeah, we needed that osmium. And then, how much was it? One aluminum, which we already have on us. Okay. This is so tricky, this biolab business. And it just absolutely makes me crazy. But I've seen Lee do this successfully. So if you hold it uh, down a little bit, you can see the screen. And if I turn it that way and hold it down, that's backwards. It gets further away from me. There we go. Oh, it just drives me absolutely batty. All right, we did it. <laughs> uh, now we need to go get the sulfur, I think. Yeah, I think we do. All right, so we'll go get the sulfur. I might turn these two cabinets around, or what I might do is put two cabinets right there. Because that might be actually more helpful. Five, six, and we'll put that stuff away. Because, see, they'll, they'll fit in that doorway, I think. I think they'll both fit in there. Yes. There we go. That way they're not blocking the pathway here. The other reason for putting in the biodome is to give me a grow room. But uh, at the moment, we need power. Uh, oh, I need sulfur for that. All right. Let's quickly go get the uh, sulfur we need to make an explosive. so that we can make that big uh, nuclear power generator. Because right now we're not gaining any terraformation index. But that's kind of, you know, it's kind of typical, especially when you get to this point in the game where you're just starting to put in more advanced uh, technology that takes more and more and more power. But we will very quickly, that's an iron goofball, we will very quickly get to um, the point where, oh my goodness, the point where we will have, <laughs> oh my goodness, pulsar quartz power. <laughs> we only need one explosive to fix the problem. So let's go fix the problem and then we'll come back and go back to looting I don't even need this, but I'm just going to grab it just so I can go straight into the bio lab. I usually have this recipe backwards, so don't get mad at me if what I needed was one sulfur and two iridium. <laughs> because I almost always get it backwards. I think I have it right now. The uh, uh, fertilizer is one sulfur and two eggplant plus the algae that we don't have yet. There we go. All right. And the other part of that is um, the iridium rods. There's two of them. And I think we get, yeah, we get the bio, or, I mean, we get the super alloy back. We, we need that aluminum, too. There we go. 
All right. And we can do that effectively because if you look, um, the T2 nuclear reactor has 331 power. This only has 86. So three of these makes one of these. And I don't have three of them left because we still have not gone to get um, a serious amount of uranium. Uh, okay. I'm going to put stuff away. And that's an extra bottle of water. And I need a bite to eat. That's too much. I just need one bite to eat. Do I have any? All right, fine. I'll just wait until I'm hungry enough. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's, the sound is fine. It's my headset again. That's. I think my battery is probably done being recharged. Okay, let's go get some more uh, high level loot from the sand falls. There we go. Oh boy, do I need signs. <laughs> I did want to check this again. There is an iron in there, so let's do this. And we'll just drop a little box right here and put that in there. And that, uh, that tells me that my aluminum uh, extractor is pretty probably uh, pretty full. So as soon as we go grab a couple of golden seeds and a little bit more stuff from the uh, sulfur fields, we'll uh, go empty the aluminum extractor. And this, uh, once again, this video is really a video I wasn't going to shoot. It's in between. It's the kind of stuff that if you watch a lot of other people playing, um, they'll edit this part out where they're just gathering random things. And But uh, instead of just doing random things, I think we will do uh, a golden chest, which there should be one here if I haven't already gotten it. There we go, two rockets. We are gonna launch those. This is also gonna give us another super alloy and another aluminum and the golden seed. And then we have this box. There's another um, bioplastic. That is great. Is there anything random I picked up I don't need? Nope. Uh, two bottles of water and another cloth. Now, the flower seeds, uh, we may use them much later in game the extra flower seeds. Um, they are useful for uh, some end game stuff. Nice, another bioplastic. Yes, we're full. We're full again. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. That's two iridium rods, or uranium rods, excuse me. And uh, we just need one more uranium rod put in a second T2 nuclear power plant. But we're going to get the aluminum first, go back, then we'll go to the uranium cave and get a couple more uranium so we can make that third rod. There might be one out here. I'm not sure. No, but there is a bioplastic, so let's drop off water. There's a uranium. I don't think that makes nine, though. We're getting close to nine. You need nine uranium or nine iridium to make um, one rod, either iridium or uranium rod. For other rods, uh, it would be nine osmium, but it's eight super alloy and one aluminum to make super alloy rods. So the recipe does eventually change. 
when you get up to a little bit higher tier things. I think we can make that. I haven't actually looked at the advanced craft station that closely, but... So we'll put this stuff away. I get another dump chest situation here. Uh, that's kind of the important stuff. There we go. I'll leave it there. And then osmium. And then I don't know where... I think I have one more cloth somewhere. All right. So we need um, that. Yeah, we're not even close to that next one. All right. Let's put that in there. Excuse me. I totally forgot that I'm thirsty. Let's uh, put... Oops. Let's put this on the floor. Get it out of my way. <laughs> I have more of those. Rockets. Um, yeah, we'll put them in there. I'm trying to keep this really big stuff close together. And I'm trying to remember that. Okay, so we need five uranium. That makes it so much easier to be able to see what you need. Um, where's the food? That'll hold me over. I was going to eat that, but this this is 60 um, food. And this is 40 food, and if 60 food is too much for that, then it's a waste. So let's go get... First of all, I just said let's go get the aluminum first. So let's do that. Do I have that yet? No. That's pretty far off. <laughs> It's probably not as far off as it feels like, though. So we'll just grab this quickly and go back, and then we'll go get the the uranium. Yeah, it's completely full. All right. Here we go. And the sun needs to come up before we go get the uranium anyway, because... It's in a dark, uh, we have to go through a dark, dark passage. <laughs> so we need a little bit of light. Unfortunately, our torch isn't particularly good at exterior uh, lighting help. All right. There we go. Oh, that is nice to have four bioplastic. That's, uh, we can start with, uh, the algae, uh, generators right away. So we're just gonna, uh, go off over to the uranium cave, which we haven't, I don't think we've been there yet. I hope not. Because if we have, then we got to go all the way back across the map to the other uranium cave. <laughs> or we could randomly find another uranium rod. One thing that we do need to get to very quickly is uh, the other side of the map. There's a meteor uh, on the ground in a crater on the other side of the map. And it's got... Um, about 8 to 12 iridium rods sticking out of it. And uh, those come in handy when you're making rockets. But here we go. Did not bring an oxygen hut over here. We will need it for a little while. So let's see if we can make one. There's a silicon. And one iron, two irons, three irons. This is usually how I know I've been somewhere is because there's an oxygen hut. Oops, sitting on top of that. There we go. We'll just grab a little bit of air. All right, let's go get some uranium.
Okay, that should be nine for our second rod. Uh, can I fit one, two, three, four, and the chest? Uh, I don't know about that. I'm hoping that there's something good in that chest. <laughs> I'm always hoping. There's nothing good in that chest. <laughs> well, there's an aluminum in there and a bottle of water, I guess. Oops. We'll just get uranium. We need it for making rockets anyway. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, that's the same one. Did I get turned around? Isn't there two in here? Maybe not. It doesn't actually matter if there is. It's still just, it's the first uranium cave. It's still really basic stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll go put in another T2 nuclear fusion plant and then we won't have to worry about power. Probably won't have to worry about it again until we get, uh, the fusion power with the pulsar quartz, so probably. Although I would like to get my aluminum back from those solar panels. We're not desperate for aluminum right now. We might be t tomorrow, <laughs> but, but today we're not. And then, uh, We'll take a look and see what our goals are, and then I'm going to probably launch uh, a pressure and a heat rocket. We'll just have to look and see which one, if one of them needs more than the other. I would guess that heat needs more than pressure, but we'll just take a look. Heat almost always lags behind in my game. Need that Lerma back. <laughs> All right. Oops. There we go. And don't really have room in there. I'll straighten all of this stuff out later. Uh, oh, I don't need that. I need uh, the sulfur. Three super alloy. Oh boy. There we go. Let's straighten that out. And water. Is this full yet? Yes. And we also need this. And that, I didn't leave enough room for the second one. Okay, hang on. You see, taking that away didn't even affect our power. It's fine. There's one. Yeah, I think if I take the iron out of the chest that it doesn't belong in, <laughs> it'll be better. <laughs> can I put that there? Oh, I can. I don't think I can get it under there. No, I can't get it underneath the water thing. I'll have to move the water thing. All right. I'm going to move that instead. Can I get it over there? No, not quite. Alright, I'll have to put another one under it. That looks weird. <laughs> it's okay, though. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I could probably take those up, but... Uh, Let's see here. Oh, I also installed this window right here. Uh, 465. We're using 450. We're producing 663 from the nuclear power. So we can take up the solar panels anytime. All right. And that is cobalt and aluminum. So we don't need the cobalt or the aluminum right now. Uh, what we do need is to check on this before we launch it. 
Did I get three? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Where's the thing at? There we go. Heat is what we need. So we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do two heat rockets. And uh, first I'm gonna go look and see which one is the heat rocket. Cause I get them backwards every time. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, mapping. Uh, the heat is the cobalt. Okay, let's go get three more pieces of cobalt. And we'll put the silicon away. All right. You can believe this? There's going to be a dust storm that blocks my my heat storm. So the heat rocket, I believe, gives us all uranium. Attracts uranium. Okay, so here we go. So because there's a dust storm, this storm here shouldn't start. And we should be able to watch the goof parade occur. Derp. Derp. Hey, you're doing pretty good. You're doing you're doing great. Just go up, keep going. Oh, good job. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, we can put that away. And we have an alloy left over right there. All right. We have uh, pumped up our heat. We did one rocket for times 10 and another rocket for times 10 for a total of times 20. And so now our heat is at uh, 3580 and our pressure is at 1350. So next is pressure. The next rocket we put up is pressure. The biomass is doing quite a bit better actually. And let's, oops, I picked it up. <laughs> That's right. I'll put a table somewhere. <laughs> so uh, this is 25 kilograms. We're halfway there. Here comes our first uranium rocket uh, meteor. Uh, we're halfway to the algae spreaders. As soon as we have that, we'll be able to mass produce um, fertilizer. Uh, we just got that or we have that. We just got the T5 backpack right at the beginning. I think it was three super alloy. Two, three, and a titanium. There we go. Perfect. That's a nice huge thing. Uh, anything else in there? Nope. Anything else in here? Well, the mining speed chips. I'll, I'll get to those. Not to worry. And let's see. What else have we got coming up? Um, machine optimizers are very far away. <laughs> and so is the T4 heater. Uh, yeah, that's just oxygen. So I just don't know if... I might put this in just to have a place to grow plants. Uh, but I'll let you know that uh, on the next one because it'll be the next one uh, when we find that out. There's another one coming because I think that was only one. I'm going to go around and pick up the uranium and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be closer to 12 MTI when we get to that point. Oh geez, here they come. <laughs> All right, you guys. Stormy days. <laughs> I'm right here, right? I can get there. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Oh, that one's coming for me. <laughs> see ya.